Well, hello everyone. Uh, here we are again, once again, in another interview here, and this time it's with Vicente Roland. Uh, we're in the Balearic, Balearic Islands in Spain, and uh, I'd like to ask you first of all, Vicente, uh, how do you get into? Oh, I mean, what's your role at the moment? Well, at the moment, I have two different roles. One role is I'm a member of a restorative justice association, which is a private an NGO. And then I also, right now, I'm working for the Department of Education in a section named, in a section um, which addresses conflict resolution and well-being in schools, social and emotional education, these kind of things. So I'm a consultant now. Okay. Uh, it is curious because uh, restorative justice is not uh, a very well-known concept in Spain. Yeah. And in fact, not, not that very well-known either in other places <laughs> outside the Anglo-Saxon uh, world. So how do you uh, happen upon this and uh, how do you get into, the, into it? Well, mostly by chance. You know, we, uh, I was uh, coordinating a peer mediation program here in, in Mallorca and in the Balearic Islands and at some point I heard about uh, restorative circles and I traveled to Switzerland and I, I, I participated in a training with Dominic Barter Mm -hmm. And that was oh, like incredible. So that opened your eyes. Yes, yes. I thought, you know, with peer mediation, we have just two people in conflict, uh, and here you can like gather everyone. And I was in awe. And then from this, uh, I went to the IARP scheme, which I really like. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then I I kept like uh, reading and researching and practicing, and that's the story. Okay, so can you tell us a bit about what uh, uh, actions are being uh, what are taking place here in the Valeric Islands at the moment? Uh, are there any RJ uh, schemes uh, here active at the moment? Well, it's it's taking a bit. You know, during uh, 2011, 2013, in this period, we had a, a very nice program, a European program with the city of Hull. Mm -hmm. And they came here, they trained us, and uh, they trained us in a people, I mean teachers, social workers, policemen, <clears throat> so people from a deprived community here in Palma, and that was so interesting. But it was kind of difficult to continue. For some reason, we had elections, I mean, when the, the new government was not, was in favor, but they, they did not like... Push Offer it. the means. Yeah, yeah. So right now, I would say that our association, our NGO, is is probably the main, um, uh, the main, uh, the main organization. Motor or yeah, of of the restorative practices. And now I, I'm I will try from this from, from the Department of Education to also with uh, if my boss allows me, uh, which which. <laughs> She will, uh, and, and we will try to also to promote restorative practices in schools and, if possible, also in the whole community. Well, that sort of links with my next question. Um, have you any examples, any pilots or any programs that have run here in the Balearic Islands or here in Majorca in particular? Uh, and, and can you explain a bit how it went? Yeah, yeah. Well, when we were in Songorle, which is this deprived area in Palma, uh, people was very animated, particularly uh, we were impressed by the police uh, work mm -hmm. because policemen were able in a few months uh, to run very many, rest like 30 restorative uh, meetings mm -hmm. uh, and it was so good because when we first presented the program everyone was so skeptic skeptical yeah. I mean they, they thought it's not going to work I mean just talking uh, th with these people this is impossible but then they saw it was possible however we had a change uh, on the public prosecutors uh, on minors and he he keeps sending from I mean since the last two years he keeps sending letters saying we cannot do this he is the one to decide everyone there is any misdemeanor with young people. Mm -hmm. So we are struggling a bit. So the situation at the moment is that you had great cooperation from the police who were uh, doing a lot of referrals yeah. uh, for youth cases, uh, yeah. particularly that, in that pilot. 
but uh, you now have sort of the opposition of the person who is a gatekeeper for these uh, projects to, to go ahead. Exactly. And uh, perhaps this person doesn't understand that uh, uh, restorative justice uh, sits alongside traditional uh, criminal justice, so it doesn't replace it. And reports generated uh, through processes of restorative justice are not being taken into account uh, at uh, trial events uh, yeah. for minors. Yeah, uh, I know I'm not mind reader. My impression is that he wants power. Okay, so it's uh, power grabbing. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, my impression at least. I mean, he would say probably, I want to, I want the law to be to govern everything, something mm -hmm. like that. Well, we all want that, don't I we? Know. <laughs> there, there, there are different ways. Of but it. also, we, we want things to go smoothly. We cannot say, this guy broke a glass, so in a year time, he's going to meet with the guy or not. I mean, we, we need to have a meeting today or tomorrow to talk about this glass and what's going to happen with this glass. Mm -hmm. So, oh, so uh, finally, I don't want to take too much of your time. Can you tell us... Uh, uh, you know about this particular sample, how it went, uh, what were what was the what were the outcomes, and uh, what are your hopes for the future? Yeah, so this uh, while while policemen were able to do these restorative uh, meetings or so were the policemen themselves uh, conducting the meetings? Yes. So they were trained to. They they went. I mean, the schools called them when they have some situation which they thought required. A, an outside person mm -hmm. to to deal it with, like for example, uh, a student stealing a mobile phone. Okay. And and then so having a meeting for this. Mm -hmm. Sorry, a conference. So yeah, so the police was very active, but also the schools. Okay. Yeah, so the schools, uh, the schools in that area and in other areas in in the Balearic Islands use restore, uh, restorative circles, like more like dialogue circles, mm -hmm. and also other restorative practices. Mm -hmm. S however, we are not doing this in a highly consistent and um, w we, we need... Not systematically, exactly. because it, it is not endorsed by the, the, exactly. the current government. Yeah, and also uh, it should be noted that our schools sometimes are... It's not like... The, the head teacher says we need to, we are going to do this and everyone does this. Mm -hmm. We are in <laughs> Southern Europe, if you know what I mean. Explain so, that to our viewers. <laughs> ah, that's that's very difficult to understand if you haven't lived here. But yeah, so some uh, like if I if for example I'm receiving calls uh, from school saying could you come oh, and uh, and run a workshop on restorative practices. And I say, okay, so who's interested? And maybe there are like 30 teachers and they say, oh, maybe we could be like 15. Mm -hmm. Because the other ones are not interested or something, I don't know. And also because of how the civil service works here, they're not necessarily forced to take on further duties to yeah. on, on additional work. Exactly, exactly, okay. exactly. Yeah, it's like... It's not, yeah, it's not part of my work definition and then I don't want to do it. Okay. So I don't, I mean, it's not, well, probably they think that other ways of acting are better, I don't know. Um, actually what, I, I was asking you about uh, whether it was the police themselves um, uh, conducting the uh, conferences because that's fairly unusual. Uh, normally uh, uh, the person, the practitioner is not uh, a person that has an authority or is not in a position of perceived authority because it is supposed to be a dialogue on equal terms between well on equal terms in a way between victim and offender and uh, the um, practitioner should not uh, influence too much the outcome of the meeting and, uh, okay but uh, but it is curious because uh, you said that uh, the police were perhaps putting themselves on a on the same level uh, in terms of authority, no, you're not. No. I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because these are not. It, it's like, it, it's like the police, uh, which also uh, controls traffic. I don't know. It's a police which is quite close to the school. Mm -hmm. I mean, so and, very certain the community. Yeah, yeah. And then it's not like we planned that. It just happened. 
I mean, the police participated in, in the training with the people of Hull because Hull told us police should be there. Mm -hmm. So police was there. And then they were just enthusiastic. I mean, I just knew about this when it had happened. You know, okay. they just ran the meeting and ran the conferences. I don't know. And it went so well because the school, I mean, those schools were very grateful because sometimes they just didn't know what to do. These guys came and they ran the conferences. I don't know. I mean, it's not like if I had a protocol, I wouldn't yeah. say always it should be the police. But, you know, it worked that well. I mean, mm -hmm. that way, in a, this Mediterranean way, you know. It just oh, happened. Yeah. <laughs> happened well, it, it was good. My last question connects with that as well, because uh, you said that uh, the schools were very happy with this, the police were enthusiastic as well. Can you tell, uh, can you tell us a bit about the outcomes and, uh, and what do you expect for the future? How do you see this? Oh, uh, well, I'm trying, evolving? even this morning, I, I visited uh, an agency uh, which is responsible for community building and, and social work uh, coordination. And I asked, uh, I offered the possibility of training a restorative conference uh, facilitators if we are able to find a, a, a town, a small town or a part in Mallorca. To run where, pilots. Exactly, exactly. Where we could train, say, I don't know, 20 people, say social workers, police, parents, teachers, people who are really... Uh, devoted to conflict resolution and to peacemaking mm -hmm. and so the schools when they have problems such as for example the head teacher has a problem with a parent instead of just telling the parent you cannot enter the school maybe have a, a conference. A restorative conference. Yeah so I'm I'm trying to run this pilot. And you're hopeful that that, that will come through? I don't know next week I'll, I'll have some news I don't know. <laughs> well we'll be in touch and you let us know as well. Uh, sure. You can post it on the restorative forum if you want and then people will know about what's going on here in the Balearic, right. Balearic Islands. So thank you very much uh, Vincent. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your time and for your great examples. Thank you it's been a pleasure.